Welcome to Norfolk Perspective City Slice. I'm Bob Batcher. Well, I've got Darcy Weiss from the Dart Center to give, to teach me an, a craft, an arts program, a craft, which <laughs> okay. means I'm going to be working a hard. Summer so this day jacket, camp project. How's that? Okay, th <laughs> which is going to be over my head. So this jacket is coming off. All righty. Okay. Your sleeves. So we do a lot of different projects with our kids in the summer. And the cool thing about our camp is we work with professional artists. Our artists, as well as school system artists, come in for the summer and they work with the children that sign up for camp. Okay. They try to always do a different project every week. And so what we do is we assign different weeks to different famous artists. Well, I was going to say, because I've been to the Dart Center yeah. and in your gift shop and then mm -hmm. where they sell in the galleries, there are some really good. Right. Well, we, artists, and they sell their own. stuff for thousands of dollars. Right. Well, the Dart so, Center itself has 35 artists yeah. that are resident artists that sell there all the time. Then we have five galleries that feature big shows. Like yep. We'll talk about the Mid-Atlantic is what we have now. And then we have our camp program and art classes for adults. And what we try to do is if you come into the Dart Center and you're like gravitate towards clay or painting, you can take a class in it or a workshop okay. in it. The camps are set up so that kids don't really, they're not specialized yet. Okay. So they come in and they look around and they go, okay, well, we're going to teach them some um, drawing, some painting, some clay, some mixed media, different styles. So when they leave, they've got six different projects that they're coming home but with. But you're going to teach me how to do one. So I'm going to do one of the projects that we've done in and camp. And then I can put it on display and sell it for thousands of dollars? Uh, I think you could probably put it on your refrigerator and your parents would be very proud. <laughs> uh oh. So we'll move you up to uh, selling your work at a can later date. Can at least date. get a t-shirt for coming? You you can get a t-shirt. This is, this this is, is the, the t camp t-shirt right? that we give. Um, I'm an artist to all our children that come and take camp. Uh, they use them as smocks, but it's also a fun t-shirt to have because, you know, they get to be an artist for a week. Can I tell you something? What's that? We were bike riding last weekend, and my wife had my daughter's t-shirt on for when she was a camp counselor. What? A million, yeah, a long yeah, time ago. Because she's 27, years ago, yeah. probably. Yeah. So these t shirts are valuable commodities. They're fun, and the kids love them. So Super. And it doubles as a smock if they need them. All right, so one of the projects, we've got lots of different projects on the table that we've done, but Clayton Singleton is one of our superstar teachers and artists, and he did a project last year. Um, this is what the finished product looked like, and it was a Warhol esque project and it was after that master and his stuff goes for yeah millions big of time dollars. so this and this yes. uh the artist was a very special person i think Yes, the, this is my daughter. So okay. this was her project last year. So we started by taking photographs of the children, and then they, we made transparencies, and then they, it was a multi-layered technique. We're going to do a little bit of it today because we don't have a lot of time. Okay. So we have taken or, or talent. Uh, yes. Yeah, so we have taken you a have picture talent. of our camper. Oh, Bob okay. Badger, our camper for today. And what we're going to do is we're going to paint on the reverse side of this. We are? We are, being you are. And then once you paint it in, here's some paints for you to use and brushes. While you do that, I'll tell you a little more about a okay. project. But you want to paint your face, obviously, more of a skin color, and you can make your hair whatever well, color no, you want it to be. There's no gray here. And That's you can make cool. it, you know, Warhol did all sorts of whimsical colors, so you can do it that way too. Oh. Yeah, so the camp itself, um, like I mentioned, is taught by our professional artists and they love being with the kids. I'm listening, but I'm drawing. We often get a phone call from the from the parents saying, okay, what can my kid expect? Well, they come at nine o'clock in the morning, they'll start off with a project, and some of the projects take multiple days. So maybe they'll start with clay Monday morning and they'll start building a really cool clay project. And and then they'll have a snack, come back, and maybe do a start a drawing project. And then we have lunch in the galleries. Ooh, really? What kind so of lunch? So they do picnic style lunch. They oh, bring cool. their own, but they get to sit in an art gallery on the cool floors and um, have lunch amongst the art. Oh, there you go. That looks cool. Mm -hmm. um, and then throughout the week, then they'll revisit the project they start on Monday. So through the course of the week, they're doing six great projects. Now, is the idea that they through the week their their skill level will increase? Well, it's, because they're exposed it's, to they're it. They're exposed to a lot of different things. They also we also take them on a tour of the art center, so they get inspired by some of the artists that are around here. They certainly get inspired by each other because the way the ages are grouped. We've got six to ten year olds in our arts cool program and nine to fourteen year olds in our arts hot program. So the kids can. And um, learn from each other and you know that always helps a lot too but at the end of the week it's kind of fun on 
Friday at one o'clock, we have an art show where the kids exhibit all these cool pieces that they've oh, done. Cool. Parents come, grandparents come, they all kind of walk around and get to see the artwork. Um, and then they take it home at the end of the week with a graduation certificate saying, I graduated the Dart Center and I'm an artist. So these are some of the ideas that they So I can say that do. at the end of the show? You can say you're it. <laughs> of course right. you can. You're seeing this. <laughs> but I mean, really, each, every kid kind of has their own. Everybody has their own. You have to do your face or otherwise you'll have all the stuff bleeding through. Um, oh, look yeah. here. Show me how so to do your just, face. Well, we only have one color, so we're going to keep you just one basic tone here. Um, if we had you, a lot of other... Why do your other... brushstrokes look more experienced than mine? <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, if we had more colors, we could blend and make some different shades for you. But since we don't, we're just going to keep it simple. Um, but now I see... Okay, you've got these little guys here so it's right. not just all painting no it's, it's painting and drawing and the dart center itself is comprised of all the different visual art mediums and so what we try to do is is expose the children to all the different visual art mediums and so they'll do paper mache they'll do painting they'll be drawing they'll work with all our different artists and so they really get a true reflection of all our artists as well as the masters that um, we are focusing on that week. So if they're doing... No, Andy Warhol would give me blue eyes. He would right? give you blue eyes. If we're doing um, Warhol, this would be a, a typical project that they might take home. Picasso, they may do a self-portrait, but use it in the the, the Picasso-esque style, so their nose is here and their ear is here. So, there, and, so there's also not only an express, their expression, but some teaching as you, to... Of course, we wanted to masses. make it educational, but fun. So there is the art history aspect to it. And they kind of, whether they fully understand what that master is, they certainly understand more than they did when they went in, and so that's now I mentioned part of it. Uh, my daughter being a counselor, but the camp's been going on for years. It has. Right? Well, we've been open 26 years, and so camp is a big part of what we do. I'm going to give you some really fun oh, glasses. Some real glasses, see. Um, and yeah, so camp is a big part of what we do, and education is so critical to what we do. Now, this doesn't look at all like you now, so I really just that's good. Whimsified you. Um, we would take this, okay. and we it's, can, it's, it's not really dry yet, but say you designed a background. Oh, cool. Okay, so it does look totally different on this side. Yeah, so if you had painted a background, I can't even see you on here. Well, if yes, we, we that's put, probably good we put mermaids have. on the background Which of this one for you, but let's flip it around on the white side so you can see it better. Um, and then you would have this project to take home once it dried, and you'd have your own little Warhol-esque you know, Bob Atcher. I, but, Darcy, you said about putting it on the refrigerator. <laughs> um, I had a watercolor, I don't know, fruit and flowers. What are those called? They're not landscapes. They are still, still life. Still life. Yeah. It never got enrolled. Oh, well, you know, that's not a good my thing. My mom didn't have it. <laughs> So. Well, you can run out of it, but you can make it a little digital photo of all the kids' work now, too, which is a lot of fun. But, and, and, but I mean, this really is important for the parent who's looking at summer camps. And I think quite often we think of summer camps as being outside and riding horses. And I think that's great. But to, but to really Absolutely. pursue the creative. If you have a child who is younger and you don't know what they like to do, then this is a great way to introduce them to art. They maybe showed some aptitude for it in school, and, and they love it, and they sit around drawing all the time, or they love reading cartoons. This would be a good way to sort of ex expand what they do. Um, it is an air-conditioned camp, which is nice. So if you have oh. that, if you have that outdoor camp in August and it's hot as you can, it can be, then come to the Dart mm -hmm. Center and cool off for a little while. It's from nine to two each day, which gives them a nice variety. So if you um, want to drop the, if you can drop them off downtown, drop right them downtown. Off. Yeah, we're in Selden Arcade. Parents can work downtown and come by. They can even have lunch with them if they work in the area. So they can. It's just, it's just very convenient. It's nine to two each day. People can call us and online. They can look up everything at our website, d-artcenter.org, but they can also call us and we can enroll kids over the phone, so that makes it simple for them. Let's switch gears. Yeah. For that person who says, but I don't have a kid, but I like art. We there's have, a lot going on at the Dart Center, We right? have, yes, there's, we have free admission always, and we always have changing exhibits. Wait a minute, did you say, say free that again? Free admission, free admission. Um, so they can come into the Dart Center and look at our different regional shows. Right now it happens to be the 22nd Annual Mid-Atlantic, which is a super cool show. That's a show. judge show, It's too, juried, right? which juried. means, yeah, we put out a national call, people submit their artwork. 
Um, Sandra Arkins out of Washington, D.C. was the juror this year, and she picked all the work and then awarded the prizes, which we've done. But the artwork, some of the top winners are from this area, even though the artwork represents the whole country. So that's wow. kind of cool. Uh, David Wilcox is a local Norfolk artist, mm -hmm. and he happened to win one of our prizes this year for one of his um, photographs. So it's a, you can always come in and see something different and be inspired by the art. And if you're so inspired, you can sign up your kid for camp or take an art class. We have art classes for right. on any level. You don't level. have to just be a kid. No. Uh, oh, no, gosh, And no. some of us, even though that we were a little older than a kid, we could use some... Well, I, you know, it's always important to tap into your creativity. I think everybody needs to express themselves and relieve some stress, and this certainly does both. So it's a great opportunity to, you know, tap into that creative side. I do side. feel, uh, now that I have blue and red <laughs> you and, are and black hair, I do feel creative. less stressed. So the website that they can go to find out more about it's this? It's d-artcenter.org. And um, we can call us at 625 4211. We also have a Facebook page, uh, capital D, capital A, capital R, capital T dash center. Yeah, and you can follow us on that. We always give tips on Tuesdays for things that you can do um, if you're an artist or if you want to get involved with the program. And we feature all the things that are coming up at the Dart Center, too. Super. So, yeah. And if your kid brings home something that looks like that, hang it on the refrigerator You'll just love for it. them. Okay. <laughs> thanks. Darcy, thanks for joining us, and thanks for taking me to a new level of my lack of creativity. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for joining us.